Hey, how's it going, folks? Welcome into your Farm Sim Weekend Update. I'm Clutch, and we're going to be looking at well, all the news, the updates, and whatever else we can talk about for Farming Simulator 19 and, well, another Farming Simulator. And let's see if we can do it under six minutes. We're not going to do it. Let's jump into this. Let's get at it. Of course, the biggest news of the week, Farming Simulator 22 has been announced. The title, Farming Simulator 22, the next Farming Simulator game has been announced, will be released Q4 of 2021. So we don't have an exact date. It will be this fall though. So that is news to take from that. Now, as for new features, we don't know a whole bunch yet. However, we do know there's going to be, well, new crops is something we know about. We don't know what it is. We know there's gonna be some new crops. We also know there's 400 different pieces of machinery slash equipment that will be in the game. Over 100 brands will be available in the next farm sim. On top of that, seasons is a thing and will be included in base game. Seasons, now it's not the seasons mod per se, it is going to be seasons integrated into farming simulators. So that's always good to hear. My understanding is it will be turn offable. So you can either have it on or off. Farm Sim 22 will be on the Giants 9 engine, which is an upgrade. We're on Giants 8 for Farm Sim 19. This is an upgraded Giants 9. It's not a new engine. It's just an upgrade. However, it should allow them to boost almost all features. It sounds like they're using this as a way to boost many of the features. It sounds like almost everything they want to make better. Increase fidelity on. We'll see exactly what all that means. There's a ton of things we need to talk about. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because we're going to be going through all this every time it comes out. If you're not lost on any of the farm sim info that comes out in the next couple months, couple weeks, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below. Also drop a like while you're down there. And of course, just as a reminder, Farm Sim 22 comes out this fall on all platforms, PC, Mac, Xbox One, Xbox SS, X PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, as well as Google Stadia. And with all that being said, let's move on to new mods of the week and new updates. Let's start things off with the John Deere X748 mower pack by JA Modding. Guys, this is probably the most anticipated mod we've seen, well, in recent memory at least. This is a whole package of John Deere mowers. There's, I think, 10 implements in total, 10 pieces of equipment in total, starting, of course, with the 748 mower. You've got a different front frontier grill. You've got a spike aerator. You've got a broadcast spreader. You've got a bushel packer. And you've got some baggage. It's got quite a few options, a whole John Deere mower pack for all your lawn care needs. Mad Personal Lighting by Madrid. Once again, a brand new mod that I'm surprised hasn't been thought of before. This is going to give you a flashlight, a headlamp, and even night vision goggles for all of those who enjoy doing nighttime farming operations. Kind of a cool mod that I can't believe has not been out before. The John Deere Draper Header, the 645FD. This is a John Deere branded Draper Header, very similar to the Lizard, but now it's actually just a only John Deere branded one. Fantastic to see this finally make it over to the Mod Hub. The Man TGX Transporter, a man truck that can pretty much carry, well, anything you throw at it. Really like the way this bed looks on this. I just wish this was a North American truck. Uh, fantastic mod, looks great. It acts exactly how you'd think it would. Tons of space. You can even put a front end loader on this and it'll fit. I wouldn't recommend it, but it doesn't. Anyways, very cool mod, the Mad TGX Transporter. Also for all platforms, the placeable pillow. This actually came out last week, but we missed this. This is the placeable pillow. You can just throw this in a vehicle and you can find a spot to sleep anywhere on the map. That's crazy. This totally changes your sleeping patterns. You can sleep out in the field. You can sleep anywhere. If you have this pillow with you, you can just, well, sleep your night away. And to go alongside with, well, the pillow, this week we got the vehicle sleeper cab. Now this only works on certain mods, certain vehicles, the Lizard Lizard Roadrunner and the Mad TGX from Base Bite Game. There's a whole schlack load of other mods it's going to work with, including the TLX, however, anything for the most part in the mod hub, any vehicle with a sleeper cab, this is for PC and Mac only, be aware of that. However, it'll allow you to sleep in, well, I got the house, basically. It turns any of your vehicles into a sleeping point. The AWM Beetle, once again, a very cool mod. It's going to be coming to all platforms once there's an update out is the sound of this. It should be coming out for all platforms. Currently, it is PC only, but an interesting old, well, it's a Volkswagen, let's be honest. But it's the AWM Beetle by Adams Kong. The Bigfoot 4x4x4 by 4x4 by 4 by Viper GTS 96 was released this week as well. Once again, an interesting mod. This is PC and Mac only. Unfortunately, love to see this come for all, all platforms. However, there might be something to do with the Ford logo. I don't know exactly why it can't make it out that way, but who knows? Very cool truck. Uh, interesting to see this in the mod hub. I know not everyone agrees with it, but for one, I'm a fan for seeing this one in the mod hub. Also released this week, Fredericksburg VA by Large H Mapping, which is a, a 1X map based on the river bottom grounds off of the Rappahannock River. 
Once again, you're gonna find this map over on Mod Network. And speaking of maps, the Mod Hub now has an update for Rustic Acres by Kaz64. You now have eight new crops, millet, coffee, sorghum, rice, mustard, and rye. And also carrots and onions have been added. Also added the original animal pens and sheds. And a free water source has been added to the map. So mods we're currently waiting on, waiting to get more information on. We should have more information next week on the F-350 as well. Spectacle Island for all of those from FS-17. You might remember this map from Alien Jim. Looks like we may see an updated version come this next week. And lastly, the DB-120 by JHHG. Hopefully we see more information on this soon as well. Can't wait to uh, give this one a try. So there you go, folks. That is all your news for the past week in Farming Simulator. Oh, Farming Simulator 22. I can't believe I'm saying that right now. Farm Sim 22 news, Farm Sim 19 updates. Ah, oh, can't wait. It's such a good time to be here, part of the Farm Sim community. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, of course. And for the full version of what we spoke about in this video, make sure you guys check out the Farm Sim show. Most Fridays, we're live at 1 Mountain Time, 1 p.m. Mountain Time. Uh, it be myself, DJ Goham, talking about all this stuff live. You can guys come out, check it out, ask questions to us live. We'd love to see you guys there. But other than that, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you guys know what to do. Slap that like. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. This is Clutch, over and out. Peace.